Shades of blue, mm-hmm. but the most basic shades, of, shades of blue that me I know are mm. uh, sky blue, um, the navy blue, yes, then yes. the let me say the deep blue or the you know the much more the original blue, you know. Mm-hmm. But then they come up with things like turquoise. Yeah, uh, I think you should go online more to check all the shades of because I had to go online to know most of the shades. Because now this, this is this is red. Yes, this is red. And this is red. Yes, yes. But we have different shades. Now, you say this is tomato. No, no. This is pepper. pepper red. This is tom- tomato. Yes. I feel tomato is not this red. I think it's pepper that is this red. No, no, because pepper is much more lighter than tomato. Exactly. Ha. Exactly. Yes, yes. Really? It is. It is. And, and, and we have different shades of purple too. Okay, okay. Especially what, what color is this? Okay. Yes, we have fuchsia pink. Yes. Magenta. We have fuchsia pink and magenta pink. They almost look alike. Yeah, almost. Almost the same shade. <laughs> <Yeah, obviously. laughs> so that's why I was just facing that. Yes, yes. And the tuning lost. Yes. Yes. What color is this? Help me out with this. This is, this is, this is baby pink. Yeah. Okay. This is baby this pink. This powder pink. No, this is baby pink and this is fuchsia. Ah. This, this, this light one here is baby pink. It's, can I also say powdered? Yes, yes, powdered, powdered pink. <sighs> and do you know that wedding nowadays now, we look with different colors, you hear sure. cockroach brown, you hear yeah, aqua blue, brown. <laughs> aqua marine. <laughs> I don't even understand. I think in Nigeria we are we are going overboard mm-hmm. with this all wedding bra because wow, that that's that's takes more yes, money. Yes, yes, yes. When you, when you try to please people, you you try to look extremely good online. For me, I, I feel. There's, there's, there's been a trend and then we are striving so much to keep that trend. Yeah. Nobody wants to fall below that standard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I, I feel it, I, actually there is nothing the wedding is not totally about the fact that people came to eat. Mm-hmm. The wedding will be much more memorable, so called in Nigeria, when people come around and they eat well and you know it's quite noisy. But then I feel the wedding is much more just the this the ceremony of the joining, mm-hmm. you know, the fact that people are witnessing to the fact that oh, we are getting married, and well, then you know, the spiritual. Well, you know, wedding for me, mm-hmm. I think the tra- for me, traditional wedding is the wedding. You see all those white wahala. I I really can't undergo that stress. I can't so, because it's like we are copying another person's culture, and our, our own culture is the traditional wedding, and. That is majorly the most important thing in the wedding. But then the court wedding too. But the white wedding, I think people just go about the want to wear the like there was a time when before I got this understanding, I used to say that for my wedding I prefer to shop at um say yes to dress UK. So imagine if I'm just going to say yes to dress UK. It's actually a show on DSC in any ways. But you, you see you see different yes, Gowns like lovely gowns, diamond embedded gowns, gowns that you just you 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 there's now yeah you will be amazed with what you are saying. I, sorry, I think it's it's okay mm-hmm. because so so that it doesn't look like um a poverty mentality. Well, you know the way some people will say that washing machines to tear clothes. Yes, Ben's uh, used to <laughs> used to waste their through you know all those kind of. So people don't tell me that way. But one thing I would always say, or one thing I would advise people or our viewers at this point is that look, whatever you do, either traditional or white, don't make the mistake of not going to court. Yes, yes. it is very, very important. Yeah. My brothers, my sisters, you want to do wedding, please go to court. Don't, don't just. Yes. Stay when they go to court, they spend more too in the court. No, no, the court is expensive. Really, really I've, seen, I've seen the court bill. It's around. Aside, maybe you settle some persons and then mm-hmm. you, you cook food and probably sit in a garden to just. Um, so what is like? You should not spend months. nothing more than twenty-five thousand. Really? Yes. Your certificate should be the certificate should be around five thousand. Yes, it is. Then a one and one other fee which I don't know could should be around ten to fifteen thousand. Yes, yes. And then you know, as per Nigeria, you might have to settle, settle some people. So at the end of the day, you just spend like twenty five thousand. I think it's that white wedding people go overboard. Yes. And 
I actually saw something online and I would like to share it with you guys. This is Data Lenses. Welcome to Data Lenses, where we discuss and explore different perspectives about relationships, dating, and love life with a focus on gray areas that are rarely touched. So keep listening to Data Lenses. You are watching Data Lenses. Let me just read it and I want your honest opinion about it because okay. I've been thinking and I'm actually a little bit confused. Now listen, my wedding is in three weeks. Mm -hmm. My fiancé and my mom <coughs> got into an argument. I think that's a red flag. You should never ever get into an argument with your mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. For what? The first day we visited my fiancé's house, they told us our parents are not married, that if I'm serious about marrying their daughter, I should first sponsor their marriage, which I did. Really? So the, the guy had to sponsor the marriage yeah, of that's so the, the parents of the people of the daughter I wants to get married to. And and did you know what? The first thought that came into my head is what tribe did these people come from? What, what tribe are they? I, I don't I don't know what to know. Okay, so because it's anonymous. Okay. I don't know what to know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But listen which I did, I spent about 1.2 million to throw a small marriage ceremony wow. for my fiancé's parents. And that is where what Kule said earlier came in, that we, we, we tend to follow this trend. Yeah. Look at just a small wedding and you're spending 1.2 million. What is small wedding? What is wedding? What is wedding? What is wedding? Exactly, my point. I mean, these guys have been, they've given birth to kids already, like a, 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 a girl they wants to marry. Yes. So I believe they could have, even if they want to do a wedding, they could have had a parlor wedding. Exactly. I, but it could, I think, Million. My mom is still angry because of that, but she saw how much I love her. She kept quiet. Now they have given us an exorbitant list. My fiancé and her parents, my fiancé and her parents wear is 3.8 million. Jeez. Just their, their attire. Yes. Just their attire. <coughs> Just their attire. They must I don't even know. She won't get like guess. 10 million. I don't even know. Many, 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 many people started a, 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 a solid business with 500,000. Yes. And this is already four point something for a, a wedding that's, that's five million. Yeah, that's that's five million. Million. It, that's it five will happen in just a maximum of two days, and people will forget about it. Listen, what they budgeted for the food, both the cooking and food stuff, is two point four million, and others that is two point four million for food and miscellaneous. <sighs> My mom got angry, but because she doesn't want to embarrass anybody, my mom called my fiancé out. My mom told her that the feeding is too costly, mm -hmm. that she, that is the mom, will handle that just to cut her target to 200 guests. My fiancé told my mom to mind her business. Wow. That's another red flag. That is another red flag. That this is a wedding and she, she, that is the fiancé, does not need anybody to interfere. My mom asked her how much she is contributing to assist. My fiance just is and walked away. Wow, wow, wow. 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 So I, 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 the story is interesting, right? Yes. My, my mom entered the sitting room where we were all seated, took her back and left in anger. My elder sister pursued her and ended up not coming back. My mom told my elder sister what happened. My elder sister called me and told me and also requested that my fiancé should call my mom and apologize. I told my fiancé and she fled up mm. and said over her dead body. To apologize to the so apologize Does she even know that after marriage she's going to apologize for things she knows, things she does not even know? Exactly. Because if she's getting married into a Yoruba, <clears throat> um, to a Yoruba family, setting. there's nothing your mother in law will do. Even if you are just right, wrong. it is so that you will still beg. Just to let peace reign. Yes. And ordinary on the way now, you cannot apologize. Just take the apology. I think the husband family is even nice. It's even so rude for you to hiss and just walk. Listen, let me finish the story. They said if I get married to her, that they would disown me. After the whole thing came out in public, and yeah. they, he told the parents, and the parents knew what happened. The parents were not like, no, they won't allow their son to get married to such a lady, which I agree to. Of course. She is even saying, I'm mommy's boy. If I choose to support my family, my child and wedding is in three weeks and four weeks, respectively. Every plan is on hold, and my fiancé says she doesn't care. What can I do in all of this? What you can do is that, what you can do, first of all, you made a very big mistake. Yes. What do you think the mistake was? The first mistake was sponsoring the wedding. Yes. Of, of a, of yes. 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 You know, I, 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 think, I, think, I think he's actually a victim. Of, of of love or I don't know. No, 
no, no, no. Do you I, really I, I not disagree. want to, to an I extent disagree. that it's at your own detriment? The, the, I think the wife said those not the fears the, in, we are talking about does not even love him. No, she because no, she doesn't. There's a way you can stand up to your family and let them know that this is your husband to be um decision. He does not have any right to do the wedding for them. What were they looking at? They didn't push him into it now. They did not push him into it. It's, it's it's a request. No, 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 no. And he did it. Yes. And that's why I said earlier that I think he's a victim of love. He, 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 well, although he's a victim of love, but let me learn first about CDC. It's really bad for you to love. No, no, no. It's bad for that you want to help out. They start taking it for granted. That is what is bad about it. It's not about taking it for granted. I, I think he made a mistake all from the from the scratch. Yes, like, obviously. You know, see, look, guys, guys. I mean, the the male gender out there. Please, I, I beg you, I beg you, don't don't be so, don't be don't be confused by the by the don't be fooled by this thing called love. Yes. Most times, use your head, guys. Come on, use your head. You will soon love the girl that she will put pressure on you to go out of your way to do crazy things. Look. And then you, you you just see that you, you you've missed it all. Yes. yes. It, 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 so, someone told me something that you see when the girl loves you, mm-hmm. whatever you see, so long as you are in the confines of sanity yes. and morality, mm-hmm. so whatever you see is what she will follow. Not because she doesn't have a mind of her own, yes. but you see there's something that love does, actual love, not not something. That's why at the, uh, in one of our episodes we were talking about. Um, you know, there is always a reason to love, yes. and in this case, loving for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Obviously, this girl was after much more. Yes, I think probably it's money because for him to do to sponsor a wedding of one person, like, I think it's loaded. It's, it's clear she's after his money because after the wedding, mm-hmm. the, he's sponsoring the wedding for her parents. Yes, you are even billing him on your parents' wares. So, I don't want to be the bright, bright price. If I was to be in that lady's shoe, I think I will forever be in a state because you, you you did what my parents were struggling to do for a very long time. So obviously, I owe you a debt. And I should even what I'm be you the law again. I just I just think like I said. I, that's why I just concluded that this guy is a victim of love because obviously he does not even know. You see, there is one thing about ladies when you love someone. He has money, he does not have money, you don't even care. You don't care. Yes. There's this there's this just understanding that even after you guys talk the bags and you'll be like, ah, did this guy used to do for me? How did I understand this thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's gone, that's gone. Another one. That is how ladies are. We we tend to understand. We tend to understand. So long, so long, there, so long you love the person. Yes. Like yes. I, I think my message still goes out to the guys again. And even we ought to do this too for I think this concerns both gender. Mm-hmm. In the sense that don't ignore red flags. Mm-hmm. Don't don't be don't don't and don't, don't ever don't think try to. she will change. Mm-hmm. Don't think that she is, will change. Don't very, think very, very she will adjust or he will change. He will never change. Never. He will never adjust. Never. Do not ignore red flags. You can take your time. You might not make the decision of maybe breaking up yes. that fast. Yes. You, know, you can try to check if it was maybe just the circumstance that yes. that caused it. Yes. So take your time. You can take your time. You can distance yourself. Take your time. You will find out what exactly it is. Trigger but then don't ignore red flags. Mm-hmm. Once you see a red flag, you know, you just take a step backward, you know, stop for a while and just try to analyze that situation because you are going into a forever deal. Yeah. Okay, this is a true life story now.